We all know that the M1 MacBook Pro is incredibly powerful. Its capabilities has shocked the whole tech world. But one of its great features was the battery life. So we're going to put it through a heavy test using Zoom and see how well it performs. So when charged to 100%, we are going to do as many Zoom calls as possible and see how well the M1 MacBook Pro performs and how many calls it lasts. At the end, we'll total up the number of hours and minutes and see our final result. One thing I want to point out is that the, this test is using only Zoom, so if you're doing Zoom calls and using other apps in between, your battery life may vary slightly. But enough of my rant, let's get going. So, the computer has been charging overnight and it's now 100% charged, so let's get on to our first Zoom call. <laughs> So after a 35 minute zoom call, we still have a 100% battery, so that's quite impressive. I would have thought that at least 5% would have been lost, but it's still fully charged, so let's see what happens in the next one. So after a second zoom call, this last time lasting for 45 minutes, the battery stands at 94%, which is still really good. And it says that my one search on Safari, which was um, to launch the zoom call, has been using significant energy at the time. So that's interesting, but it doesn't seem to affect the battery life that much. But let's see what happens going forward. I'm going to do a few more zoom calls before updating you this time. <laughs> after another 2 hours and 43 minutes worth of zoom and now the battery life is starting to fall a little bit more. So we're now down at 60% but there still is over half the battery left so we're going to have to do a bit more and see where we get to. And after another 52 minutes of zoom calls we still have 55% of the battery left and it will probably start losing battery life a bit faster now as we go into that lower half of the battery so let's see what happens. So that's another hour and 10 minutes of zoom and we are still on 49%. So a lot of battery left, but let's see how we get on. I'm just going to go until we're on 0% battery now and then we'll come back and see how well this M1 MacBook Pro did. <laughs> So that's another 4 hours and 11 minutes of zoom calls and the M1 MacBook Pro is out of charge. So it's done really really well in my view, so that M1 chip inside definitely makes the battery life a whole lot better. The total time of zoom calls came out at 10 hours 16 minutes, which is seriously good for zoom, which is an app that is using your webcam and your microphone plus constantly showing you video on your screen for that whole time. So that's pretty impressive. Now I'm pretty sure that this is really unlikely that you'll be doing that number of zoom calls without plugging in your computer, but it's nice to know just how many zoom calls you can do on the go. So Google say that the average length of a zoom call is between half an hour and an hour. So you could probably do around 20 zoom calls that last 30 minutes. And if your zoom calls last less, even better for you. And if your zoom calls last longer, then you'll still get a huge number of calls that number near, probably nearer to 10 rather than 20. So the results don't seem to follow any pattern that I've been able to notice, but if you have, leave a comment below and let me know. But these results seem to vary on how much battery there is left, so maybe there are some optimised settings in that M1 chip that specialise the battery depending on what it is doing at the moment, but it was full a full battery life worth of zoom, so it is quite possible that the computer optimised itself when it did get to a certain point. Anyway, that's been it. Hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a like and also subscribe for more content like this and thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next.